Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In my last video, I presented the most recent information and expert opinions concerning the Chroma Dump, which, for those that don't know, is a crescent-shaped ancient trash heap located south of the Pyramids of Giza, first excavated in the 1970s by Carl Chroma, and then again by the Ancient Egypt Research Associates or AERA in 2018. From their recent excavations, the AERA believed that this dump was created in the 4th dynasty, and although this is a tentative interpretation based on limited new excavations, there is an elephant in the room that needs addressing. Yes, this dump could well have been created in the 4th dynasty, as they state, and as an amateur historical researcher, I can't really critique their excavations, analysis and conclusions but the age of the creation of the dump is just one part of it. The other is the age of the actual material inside it. Cromer's excavations in the 1970s were extensive, and he firmly believed the dump contained material that dated from the 1st to 4th dynasties, maybe even earlier, with pottery shards reminiscent of the pre-dynastic, as well as a number of early clay ceilings that looked to have predated the Giza pyramid builders. They were pre-4th dynasty and hence pre-Khufu. The implications of this discovery were huge, because in the 1970s, it was fresh evidence for Giza having early dynastic origins, that people were on the plateau before the pyramids. In his 1972 publication, Cromer wrote, Quote, After the results of the first excavation, I would therefore like to suggest the following interpretation of the discovery as the most probable. There was an extensive settlement on the site of today's Pyramid District of Giza. The life of the settlement probably extended from the 1st Dynasty to the 3rd Dynasty. At the beginning of the 4th Dynasty, the rock plateau on which the settlement was located was declared a burial precinct and the settlement was demolished. End quote. This is a history of Giza that isn't mentioned today by the experts. I don't hear many or any Egyptologists talking about the possible existence of an extensive early dynastic settlement on the plateau, predating the pyramids. Even though, at Giza, there is plenty of evidence for both the pre-dynastic Madi culture, as discussed in a previous video, as well as the fact there are early dynastic tombs just south of the main pyramid field. In all honesty, finding an old dump with early dynastic and pre-dynastic finds would not even be all that surprising, because we do know that people were there. We have the material evidence. Cromer believed he'd found more evidence, and his opinion on the material he found does need to be taken seriously. Because he wasn't an amateur, he was an experienced professor of pre- and early history. So, I was surprised to read the following paragraph in the Spring 2018 edition of Aerogram, an AERA publication. It says, and I quote, for decades, scholars have thought the material excavated by Cromer dated to quite a long stretch of time, perhaps even hundreds of years. But based on our work at Haidt El Garab, which is the city of pyramid builders located to the east of the dump, we suspect this not to be the case. We hope to prove conclusively that the Cromer material actually dates to a much smaller window of time perhaps just a few decades covering the reigns of Khufu and Khafre, end quote. So, it seems that even before the new excavations began, the AERA were sceptical. They seemed to believe that Cromer was wrong in the dating of the finds. Why, I don't know. But I had made the logical assumption that Cromer's evidence for an early dynastic settlement was re-examined and reassessed, and was deemed inconclusive and debatable. In their new excavations, the AERA only dug two trenches as opposed to Cromer's ten, and although the archaeologists said they found no evidence of early dynastic material, in the main they were covering old ground, parts that had already been excavated by Cromer 
and although they did extend the research area, they only looked at a very small part of the dump. They found only Caffrey clay ceilings, they found evidence of a royal palace, and they didn't find anything that they believe predated the 4th dynasty. Fair enough. But in the next edition of Aerogram, dated Fall 2018, the Chroma Dump is referred to as a 4th Dynasty Demolition and Trash Deposit. The archaeologists believe the earliest dump material was consistent with a demolished 4th Dynasty royal rest house or small palace. But looking back over the recent publications, what I do find strange is that Chroma's evidence for early dynastic material was not mentioned. There is no mention as to whether or not it had been re-examined, and Cromer's interpretation of these early dynastic finds were not debated or debunked. As stated, I had assumed in good faith that Cromer's finds and analysis must have been re-examined, and that they must have deemed his interpretation wrong or debatable. Examining previous work is surely the first thing anyone would do before re-excavating and re-evaluating a site. But there is nothing published to say that this work was done. So, in hindsight, to exclusively call the Chroma Dump a 4th Dynasty demolition and trash deposit is mere opinion, not fact. Yes, the trash heap could have been created in the 4th Dynasty, that could well be when the clearance and physical dumping took place, but just because no early dynastic discoveries were made in 2018, it doesn't mean that all the material inside the dump is 4th Dynasty. Not unless the AERA have fully reviewed the finds from the 1970s, and successfully debunked Cromer's claims. You can't just sweep them under the rug, especially when we have annoying YouTubers bringing them to everyone's attention. Making bold statements and conclusions based on a new selective and limited dataset without thoroughly reviewing all the documented finds from the 1970s is, well, unscientific and biased. If this is a 4th Dynasty dump made exclusively of 4th Dynasty material, then great, but we need to know what was wrong with Cromer's analysis. So far, no counter arguments have been published. Questions do need answering, and so all I can do is keep asking. Of course, I'm under no illusion, I'm just an amateur historical researcher. I'm not qualified to question the latest findings by the AERA, but I think it's fair to me to ask why the older claims have been dismissed, why they have not been addressed. Maybe Cromer was wrong. Perhaps his work was re examined and reinterpreted. But where is this important analysis? Because the other option is that Cromer was correct and it's not being mentioned because the idea of an early dynastic settlement at Giza goes against the current narrative. After making my last video, I have since learned that the claims made by Cromer do have substantial merit. And it's once again thanks to friend of the channel Keith Hamilton that I've learned a lot more in the past few days as he pointed me to more obscure publications I couldn't even find before. He told me about a publication by Carl Butzer, written in 1982, where the author reviewed Cromer's work on the dump, and although he is critical towards Cromer for not properly recording and analysing the strata, he doesn't query the artefacts themselves. Butzer says, and I quote, my impression is that several settlements may well have been incorporated in the dump, including drift sand removed from the pyramid platform. End quote. But Sir does say that the excavations stand as an example of what can be lost by inadequate procedures, so there is disapproval of the way Cromer worked, but interestingly, he does say, quote, the 1,580 inventoried finds indicate settlement during the first four dynasties and suggest specialised workmen's quarters related to the building activities of Kefren, aka Kafre. End quote. This is backed up by the website of the University of Vienna, who have a page dedicated to what they call the Chroma Collection, and they say, and I quote, that the material is mixed, and ranges from the 1st to 4th dynasties. 
Cromer suspects that it is rubble from settlements that were not only levelled for the construction of the pyramids but also transported away. End quote. So, we have Carl Cromer, an experienced archaeologist and prehistorian who excavated the dump extensively. And we also have Carl Butzer, an experienced geographer, ecologist and archaeologist, and they both agree the dump finds indicate there was a settlement at Giza, and it existed between the 1st and 4th dynasties. An idea credible enough to be published on the website of the University of Vienna. But the AERA did not mention the 1,580 inventoried finds when they reassessed Cromer's dump and rebranded it 4th Dynasty. Again, maybe the AERA did examine the finds, and maybe they did debunk both Cromer and Butzer. Who knows? But Keith Hamilton next pointed me to the work of Mera Torsia Rigillo, a scholar who specialises in ancient clay ceilings, and she examined 239 ceilings found in Cromer's 1970s excavations. In her summary, she found seven with the name Khufu, and a further four assigned to the same period. She then found 55 assigned to Khafre, 16 to an unknown king, 53 incised signs, and a large group of 104 ceilings, each having figurative seal impressions. Based on the form and figure of the ceilings, she was in agreement with Cromer and Butzer, saying, and I quote, All the materials testify the long, even if not continuous, life of the settlement. It goes back to the proto-dynastic period, through the Thinite dynasties and the Djoser Age, all the way to the 4th dynasty. The last evidence belongs to the Kefrin Kingdom, during which the site was in full working order. She continues, Since the site was present in the proto-dynastic period, we deduce that it was not built to follow the first Great Pyramid construction. Probably this pre-existing site was used on purpose. End quote. Rigillo is an expert in ancient clay ceilings, and writing in the year 2003, she fully agreed with Cromer and Butzer that the finds from the dump were evidence for intense activity at Giza in early dynastic times, that Giza was home to a thriving town, and that it was not originally a necropolis. Before the pyramids, it was a place for the living, not the dead and Regillo believed there was a long occupation at Giza from the late pre-dynastic all the way to the time of Khafre. She believed that Giza could have been a hub in the trade network from Upper Egypt to the Near East, at the centre of the Nakeda culture expansion into the Delta in proto-dynastic times. So really, all I want to say in this video is yes, the dump could well have been created in the 4th dynasty, yes, it may well contain the remains of a small royal palace used by Khufu and Khafre, as discussed in my last video, and yes, this palace could have been located close to Menkore's Valley Temple, but this is just part of the story. Cromer and Regillo and also likely Butzer all agree there is datable pre-4th dynasty, early dynastic and proto-dynastic archaeology in the Cromer dump, and this would indicate that whatever part of Giza was cleared, it had a much older history than King Khufu, which would make sense. Giza would have always been a prime location. Until somebody can explain to me why Cromer and Regillo are wrong, and until I see some radiocarbon dates from the organic material in the dump, I have no option but to trust the experts that as well as a 4th dynasty royal palace, the Cromer dump also contains solid evidence for people living at Giza for many centuries before the first stone of the Great Pyramid was laid. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.